Hey everyone, this is Lindsay from the 14th Street Parlor. Today I'm going to show you how to curl your hair with a flat iron. I am using my GHD flat iron. Um, you can use pretty much any. Um, I suggest the professional brand just because of heat control and you don't want to burn your hair off. But the GHD is my favorite. So we're going to go ahead and turn it on and it heats up really quick so I'm just going to... That means it's on. And you'll just need a brush, butterfly clip, flat iron, and a couple of products for this. Okay, so I'm just going to section out that bottom section of my hair. And I've prepped my hair with Aveda's Damage Remedy Daily Hair Repair. That's just going to give me, that means it's ready. Um, that's just going to give me a heat protectant on my hair. You always want to use a heat protectant. No matter if you are flat ironing, curling, or blow drying, or not doing anything. The sun's heat. I know you don't think about that, but... Okay, so you want to take small sections, and I'm going to start about this. You're going to hold the flat iron kind of at an angle like this. You're going to start at the root and go down. You just want to be really slow with it and very consistent about how you're holding it. And then you just spin it and you get that little curl. And on to the next section. And if you have curly hair, um, I know curly hair has kind of those curlier roots. You can flat iron out the root. So you'll just flat iron and then you'll start the curl. I don't have curly hair though. My hair is very straight naturally. And the side. Okay, and then go to the other side. You can kind of just split your hair in half and see which side, you know, it doesn't have to be necessarily half, but close to half so you know where you're at and you get all those hairs in the back. And curl. And you just want to make sure you're taking small sections. You don't want to go too big with your sections because otherwise it'll, the hair will start to fall out of the flat iron and we don't want that. So then go to your next section. Right around the front here, I have these little baby hairs. I think a lot of people do, especially if you're blonde. Um, those hairs tend to break around your face or if you've done a lot to your hair, if you've done a lot of coloring. So you don't want to really do too much to those. So I just kind of leave them and then I'll tuck them behind my ear rather than trying to heat style them when you wear your hair down because it nobody's really going to see them. So you want to make sure your tail, this is your tail down here, stays below the root section. That was kind of a big section. I wouldn't suggest taking sections that big. Once you get the hang of it and you know how, you can start taking bigger sections, but when you're first learning, you don't want to take those huge sections and then not have it curl. Okay, and on to this side. So same thing, I have those little baby hairs. This side is, these are a little longer, so I'm just going to take those in one and just do half a curl. And it's going to look kind of silly right now, but when I curl the rest of this, it'll blend into it. And if it doesn't, then I'll curl it again. Watch how tight you're holding your iron. Um, if you're clamping down on the hair really hard, it's going to leave some kinkiness in the hair. So it'll look like there'll be kinks throughout the hair and we don't want that. We want a nice smooth curl. And my hair is fairly fine, but I have a lot of it, so um, this is what works for me. If this technique isn't working for you, you can just comment and ask, and I will try to help with your hair type. This seems to work on all of my clients, though. Um, they all love how I curl their hair with my flat iron, and then when they get home, I always feel like they can't recreate it themselves, so I'm trying to help with that by making a video that they can watch at home and know exactly how I did it at the salon. And 
And so you want to make sure that all the hair that you're curling is staying inside of your flat iron. You don't want it slipping off the top or down below. That's why I usually hang on to my tail there so that it doesn't fall out. And if your hair is shorter than this, by all means, you can still do this. I've done this to my hair for years and I feel like I've been growing my hair out for 10 years, but <laughs> um, you can do it when your hair is shorter for sure. So in the back there, I mean, you really can't see how high of a section you took. So I have some of those pieces that are coming up a little high. So I split that section in half um, so that in the back I'm not getting a ringlet. I call them little kid curls. You know, that's how I feel like my mom always curled my hair when I was six years old for programs or whatever. <laughs> This little piece fell out, but that's okay. Just give it a little curl. This is a big section. Once again, try not to take big sections like this. So that little piece fell out, so we'll have to recurl that, which is easy. You just go back and recurl, but then you get kind of an odd curl through there, which will blend into the rest of your hair. So I don't like when sections are really long this way, I like to take horizontal sections rather than vertical. So, there's a piece stuck in there. If you take those vertical sections going up and down there, you're gonna get those ringlets again, those little kid curls like I talked about. Um, and they're, you might be able to shake them out so that you can piece them and they're not one big curl. But throughout the day, they're going to revert back to that and they're going to be those big curls like that. And you, that's not what we want. And so I'm going away from my face. I want all the curls to go away from my face. Um, I think it's just the style that I like. You can make them go towards your face, but once again, I think that looks a little bit childish. And that's not what I want. And these are my, these are my everyday curls. I wear my hair curled pretty much every day um, for work or anything. Sometimes I'll flat iron it, but most of the time it's curled. And the more you curl your hair, the more it's gonna hold a curl. So I know so many people tell me my hair doesn't hold curl and no matter how I curl it, it won't hold a curl. So. If you start, I mean, I know it's not ideal for every single person to curl their hair every day. I, I understand that. Um, but just if you start curling it more often, you know, maybe two times a week instead of once every three months or something, you know, um, your hair will start to hold that curl a lot better because it gets used to that, you know, it has that pattern in it and it starts to get used to being curled. But I do feel like my flat iron curls hold better than some of those curling iron curls. I feel like I get a better hold from a flat iron, which is why I like my flat iron so much. And like I said, this one's a GHD flat iron. Um, I do, I really do recommend using a professional brand. Um, I know a lot of people like Chi, C-H-I Chi as a brand. It's not my personal favorite. My favorite is the GHD, but um, I think the Chi is a little bit less expensive. And if you're not using a professional brand, that's okay. Just make sure your heat isn't turned up all the way. You don't want to turn that heat up to 400 or 450 or anything like that. That's not required for most hair types. If you have extremely thick, coarse, hair that's curly then maybe turn it up to 400 but don't don't turn it up to 450 unless nothing is happening because you're probably going to burn your hair off i would say i would recommend staying around the 350 range that seems to be enough heat um if you have really really fine hair really baby fine hair start at 250 even and you can you can always go up but you can't you can't repair that hair once you burn it, so start low. Okay, so these pieces, I have a little bit of a fringe around my face that's kind of growing out, but I'm gonna leave that out for a second and I'll show you what to do with that at the end. So 
So now most of my hair is curled, so I'm just finding those pieces toward the ends that aren't curled. You can see there's some straight pieces back there, so I just pull it up from there and try to find it up here. And it's okay if you recurl a couple of those pieces in the back if part of them gets stuck in another curl. It's not a big deal. Okay, and this side. So this side I don't have as much of a fringe, but I still have a little bit around my face there. So I'm just going to curl that in. looks like this has already been curled it has so last section here so I part my hair just slightly off the middle however you part your hair normally is fine I keep parting it that way and this has been in the clip so it needs a little bit of brushing I'm gonna start in the back now And I mean, this only takes me 10, 15 minutes in the morning, but if you have never done it, it's probably going to take you a little bit longer. So I always suggest not doing it, you know, um, if it's your first time curling your hair with a flat iron, don't do it when you have to go to work in 20 minutes. Don't start that <laughs> practice. Okay, so right here in the front, I'm going to flat iron that root, and then I'm just going to do just the tiniest bit of a curl. And you can see, and then I'll pull it in there. And then this side, same thing. So see, you can see my little piece here. So this side's hard for me because you'll notice that in your hair too. You'll have a side that's not as easy for you. And this is my side that's a little bit harder for me. So I'm just going to go forward with that. And then I'm just going to gently curl it in and see my hair always does that so I just give it a little bit of hairspray to leave it in there I have a little bit of hair loss right here from having a baby and so you can see I have a little bit of a bald spot but it's not too bad okay so I think it's all curled and so you saw there's that piece that I told you about just blend it in there so now you're just going to run your fingers through your hair. And I'm just giving a little bit of lift. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of spray. And I'm going to tilt my head. Can you see that? There we go. And this is just Aveda's air control. It's really lightweight and I really like that because I don't like when my hair feels like it's has hairspray in it. I think that is really annoying. I like to be able to touch my hair throughout the day and run my fingers through it. I don't want it to be stiff. So this is something that I really like because it gives good hold without being really stiff. And then if you want, I mean, I this is probably how I'll wear mine, but you can take a little teasing comb or a regular comb, whatever you want, and you can kind of go in and back comb a little bit and you always want to back comb in three so you go one two three and then you'll do the same over here you want to over direct and one two three so you're back combing the same part instead of just ratting it all up and then you can just you can spray it like I said I don't really care about back combing today I usually and Backcombing isn't necessarily bad for your hair. It's just that when you brush it out, don't rip it out. You know, you gotta be gentle with it. So that just kind of gave my hair something to hold on to and a little bit of lift. Okay, well, that was our tutorial for today. Um, how to curl your hair with a flat iron. If you have any questions, just comment or you can message me. Um, and let me know what you thought. Okay, thank you. Bye.